Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangesani and in this uh, video I'm going to show you how to create a XFA model for crack propagation. Uh, we'll start with the uh, introduction here. In this file we build a model for crack propagation. There are many features in Abacus that you can use for predicting the crack during the process. Uh, each of them has a specific feature and you can use them. Some of them can predict the path or some of them can predict the energy during the pr uh, crack propagation. But in XFEM, the Abacus uh, uses different shape functions for elements then because of that because it's uh, different from the typical shape function we call it x FEM. The XFEM model is good for predicting the crack and you, are, you can see the crack propagation and crack can uh, propagate through the LMS. So it doesn't need to very fine mesh. I mean, having the fine mesh can help you to, you to increase the accuracy, but doesn't necessarily require for crack propagation. To simulate the crack uh, or fracture during the process, you always need to define the damage property. Now I would like to talk about the model, the geometry and the material property that we use in this model. This is the geometry, as you can see, this is the cuboid and there is a crack in the middle of it. Uh, the initial crack size is about one centimeter and the thickness of the part is, above, is five millimeter. Height and the width of the part is 10 and five centimeter. Also, it is good to mention that we're gonna fix the part from here and we're gonna pull it from here. Okay, and the material property that we're gonna use are the uh, maximum principal stress is 100 megapascal and displacement at failure is uh, 10 power minus four and the Young modulus is 200 gigapascal and the portion ratio is 0 0.3. Before continuing, I would like to mention that the maximum principal stress damage is for defining the damage before the crack uh, initiate. So, um, in fracture and in crack propagation, you need to have a criteria that defines that the part would be fail in after uh, reaching that uh, value. The other parameter is uh, displacement at the uh, failure. It means that the crack will pro uh, propagate after reaching that value. So after reaching that uh, maximum principal stress and the, uh, the value for a strain, the crack will propagate. After the creating model, we can see the results similar to this. As you can see in here, the crack is propagated and in the end you can see the fracture in the part. And also you can see the, the stress during the process. Okay, I think I, I explained everything. Now we are good to go to create the model. To create the part, we start with geometry. In here we create a part. And we need to draw a rect rectangle. 5 centimeter x, 10 centimeter y. Okay, and the depth should be around 5 millimeter. Then we need to create another part for crack. Here, shell extrusion. We need to draw a line from 1 centimeter to 0, and then the depth should be around 5 millimeter. Okay, and now in property. We need to assign the property for part density was 7800, elastic 209, 0.3. For damage, we have plenty of options. For ductile damages, we can use uh, this option, but uh, for this model, we, we want to use this one, the max PS damage. The maximum principal stress, it should be 100E6. And we need to create a criteria for failure. So after it reached this value and then the displacement reached this value, the crack would propagate. This is about 10 power minus 4. Okay. Now we need to assign the section. Uh, then we are good to go to assembly. In assembly, we insert two parts we move the crack from here to the center because we want to create mesh and we want to make sure that the crack tip is not close to the node so we move it a little bit higher about one millimeter okay as you can see in here, this is the crack. 
and in step we need to create a step for a uh, static general we set the analogy on and we assign this one for minimum for initial increment we use this value because it should be low and for the minimum we make it uh, 10 power minus 12 uh, we increase the num maximum number of increment if you need to know more about the increment you need to go to the our video in website we need to check a few bucks for seeing the crack propagation in here we check these two and for failure we check damage initi uh, initiation criteria and these two okay now we go to interaction special crack and we select the exafia and first we need to select the geometry and after that we need to assign the crack now we need to create the interaction we go to the initial step and then we select the xfm crack rules crack one we already defined it in here as if you remember we define it here okay and now we before going to load i would like to go and create the mesh because based on the mesh I, i'm gonna apply the load so in here i changed this value to 4 I don't need a very fine mesh and then I assign the material and uh, I assign the mesh we go to load again assign the we fix this part as you as you as we explain in PowerPoint file uh, and caster after that we, we need to create set to apply the load in here we create the set node I select this and for load I go to this one step one and after I click the sets uh, select this one okay I check all of them only we need to pull it from a y direction so I just need to change this value five millimeter okay and now we're good to go before starting the job we need to set the directory file okay uh, because we want to put the file in this in the specific folder in here we create the job uh, we submit it okay the job has been completed and now we can see the results as you can see this uh, the crag is propagated in here now if we move this video uh, move this file we can see the crack is propagated and the part is moving okay in here you can see the strain as well the strain as this point was high because we applied the load it's actually logarithmic strain an interesting part about the about the XFM feature is that you can see the crack is propagating through the elements it doesn't need to go through the nodes and it can break uh, it can break the elements through the middle of them okay I think I cover everything uh, thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this video if uh, you need this file if you need the CAE JNL file you can download them from our website uh, and it is free for you all and if you're interested in any other uh, video please let us know so we can create them for you I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question let us know so we can help you with and uh, until the next video bye